Tonight, there's a new satellite in orbit above us, and it's a serious upgrade to GPS. The next step, in-car TV beamed in via satellite. NBC 11's business and tech reporter Scott Budman takes us to the launch and tells us what it means to you. This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus four minutes and holding. As anticipation flowed through the standing room only crowd, the weather does look good here, blue sky. They waited to see their creation literally leave the nest. It's like an expectant father or maybe maybe your daughter getting married. It, that's what it's like. Then watched live as it launched into space. Four, three, Atlas Engine Ignition, one. Zero and lift off. Employees at Space Systems Laurel cheered especially loudly for this satellite launch because they built it themselves here in the Silicon Valley. It's been incredible teamwork. And I think that they, they should have a sense of pride, a real sense of pride in the sense that here be, we're beginning something new again at Laurel. The satellite weighs seven and a half tons, is 27 feet tall, and when settled into space, will stretch itself out more than 100 feet across to beam the nation's first mobile television service into cars as a companion to the maps you already get on your in-car GPS. It is in fact one of several satellite launches to take place this year to give us civilians on the ground better satellite radio and satellite TV reception, in short, to enhance all of our communication devices. Director of Carrying Operations, go. While helping these Silicon Valley employees feel proud of their work. In Palo Alto, Scott Budman, NBC 11 News. The satellite that launched this afternoon is expected to be operational next month. The company building that satellite service expects your current GPS system to be able to show television sometime next year.